Welcome back. Well, it's midweek and it looks like rain chances going down and temperatures staying up. A late summer rush as we head into the weekend. Drier pattern overall. Next week will be filled with question marks mid to late next week with a potential tropical system burgeoning in the Gulf of Mexico. More on that in just a bit. First off, though, let's take a look at the good stuff. High pressure ridging on in overall a drier atmosphere, which is limited shower activity to about the 5 to 10 percent range this afternoon. Expect more of the same tomorrow and with time this high pressure ridge sits on us and that's going to knock down the rain chances give us more sunshine and hopefully maybe lower dew points which will kind of decrease that heat index up to 100 uh, on the heat index this afternoon i expect more of the same for tomorrow regional pictures showing just widely scattered showers across the gulf rim and close to home just a few isolated showers showing up mostly ground clutter on the regional radars but as we dial into power doppler three we do see a couple of isolated cells along and south of Highway 90 from uh, just east of uh, Lake Pinur here and maybe Lake Pinur, uh, Avery Island getting a little bit of a rain shower uh, also by Delcom. And then as we go down south of Highway 90, getting into the coastal marsh south and east of Lydia and south of Generet, just a few pop up showers might see one or two through the early evening hours, but things should quiet down. Now, as we move into the tropics, we're going to start focusing on the Central American area as we do expect activity possibly to get going in the Pacific, but more than likely in the Northwestern Caribbean. We have noticed storms popping up north of Panama and north and east of Costa Rica and east of Nicaragua. Is that going to be the zone that we need to watch? More than likely, and with time, something could develop uh, down the road. First off, though, let's take care of the other business. The remnants of Gordon still out here in the Atlantic. Still a chance of development at about a 50-50 shot, but this one's going to stay out in the open Atlantic. Meanwhile, the National Hurricane Center hasn't ch changed its odds of development because the odds of development are going to be mainly in the six to eight or nine day range right now going for 20 percent and this is the area that we'll watch and it's going to be hard to forecast because we're going to have this gyre going in the uh, central american region an upper level and surface low pressure uh, the circulation that will spit out something we think toward the gulf of mexico with time so here's the earlier run of the european model showing that moisture pooling here by the uh, by the yucatan uh, possibly a low pressure system maybe a tropical storm and then getting into the gulf of mexico and perhaps intensifying Fine. I brought this out to Thursday of next week, which is pushing it seven to eight days. But why? Well, the GFS is giving it a little bit support as well with some sort of tropical disturbance developing and then intensifying, moving through uh, maybe the Yucatan and then perhaps deepening in the Gulf of Mexico. I'm not going to show you the 10 day run because it's irresponsible to show where there's going to be landfall. You're going to see it on social media, but do not pay attention to any landfall forecast on a system that hasn't developed that has lots of question marks. There may be a frontal trough in the region. We'll just have to wait and see, but we'll be watching that Gulf of Mexico for sure. And the water temperatures out here, mid to upper 80s and the oceanic heat content in the Caribbean off the charts and in record breaking territory. So this is gonna be different than Francine. It could possibly become a major hurricane in the Gulf, but where it goes, Texas to Florida will have to be on God. High pressure dominating through the next 24, 48 hours, keeping the rain chances down and the temperatures up so it's a quiet forecast nearly a full harvest moon out there again tonight 75 your overnight low then for tomorrow up to about 92, maybe 94 for the high. We got to 94 today. Slim rain chances and mostly sunny skies and a sun and cloud mix like we've seen the last couple of days. Moving forward, rain chances down in the 5% range or less Friday into the weekend and carrying into next week and then possibly watching the Gulf next week. Rain chances could go up or down based on what develops in the tropics. And of course, we'll talk more about that coming up on Acadiana's News Channel at 10. That's it for right now. We'll have a little bit more coming up a little bit later on.